with the summers approaching it is very very important that we talk about a summer illness that is called as dengue or dengue i am dr monica mahajan medical director max healthcare at lajpat and panshil park and i'll be talking to you briefly about this illness today so dengue is actually a viral infection that is transmitted by our enemy the mosquitoes and there are four different types of dengue so during one particular year it is only one strain of dengue which will be causing all the infection if four people are bitten by the dengue bearing mosquito only one will be unfortunate enough to get the symptoms the rest three can be purely asymptomatic and since i mentioned it's a viral infection the symptoms are typically of that of a virus which means in terms of headache fever pain behind the eyes back pain and sometimes a rash Uh, the spectrum of this illness can be anywhere from a mild to a very very life threatening infection but only a handful of people end up in the hospital so the complications of dengue can include bleeding which means bleeding from the nose teeth gums blood in the urine or stool severe pain in the abdomen vomiting drowsiness unconsciousness so these are some of the warning symptoms which means that if a dengue patient has these symptoms or is unable to take anything orally then he would require hospitalization the rest of the people can stay put at home and be treated at home so now that we know about the symptoms of dengue it is how do we diagnose it most importantly don't self diagnose yourself as suffering from dengue because this is the time of the year when a lot of malaria typhoid and a whole lot of summer ailments are happening so let your doctor decide whether you are suffering from dengue or not so you can have various tests which are conducted including a dengue ns1 antigen or a dengue uh, serology which is conducted to see if you have dengue or not at the same time the doctor will ensure that there are tests which are simultaneously run for malaria typhoid platelet count and so on and so forth to decide the further course of action so it is said that prevention is always better than cure so the best way of fighting dengue is to prevent dengue from happening Remember point number 1 what you wear in terms of clothes is important try and wear full sleeves clothes and trousers dengue is a day biting mosquito so when you're going outdoors cover yourself from head to toe as much as possible there are certain mosquito repellents which are available in the market but when you use them remember that don't put any repellent inside your eyes it can irritate if you're simultaneously using sunscreen and a mosquito repellent the mosquito repellent comes on top of the sunscreen the sunscreen first the mosquito repellent on top of the sunscreen not the other way around when you are applying sunscreen and mosquito repellents for a child dab it on your hand first and then apply the mosquito repellent on the child's face so that it doesn't splash into his mouth or his eyes you can use mosquito nets air conditioned environments and hospitals and hotels are better rather than in terms of non air conditioned environments and again if you have any sort of symptoms please do report early to the hospital if you ask me what is the treatment of dengue there is absolutely no treatment you just treat the symptoms which basically means you hydrate a patient you give him antipyretics to keep the fever down avoid sort of painkillers which can destroy the platelets further and cause bleeding tendency to happen and more importantly if there are any sort of warning signs in terms of drowsiness dehydration bleeding then get a patient into the hospital it's a myth that every patient of dengue needs to have platelet transfusions it doesn't work that way so only if the platelets are drastically low and a patient is bleeding then it is up to the doctor to decide whether the platelet transfusion is required or not most people have a self recovery from dengue so don't try any kind of over the counter stuff it may or may not work it is a fight between your body and the virus and the fight is going to be over soon and your body will ultimately win thank you so much